Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Morrison. And I'm Mark Kennedy, and today we're basking in the sun at the Trestle Creek Golf Resort. This soon-to-be 27-hole track is 45 minutes west of Edmonton, near Entwistle. We promise it's worth the drive, as it is so much more than a golf course. Trestle Creek offers vacation lots, water slides, zip lining, pickleball, an equine center, and so much more. Our guest today is the only goalie in NHL history to have two 25-plus game unbeaten streaks. Former net miner for the Flyers, Bruins, and Capitals, Pete Peters. Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show, Pete. Thank you very much. Yeah, we feel lucky to have you. Well, I feel lucky to be here. What a place. Yeah, how's your golf game? Uh, I just dusted off the clubs to come here, so <laughs> it could be scary. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is how you look. And you look like you could still play. Yeah, well, thank you very much. You mean golf or hockey? Uh, <laughs> all of the above. All of the above, yeah. <laughs> Normally, we do three holes of match play. Every year we've been out at Trestle Creek, we keep looking at these beautiful water slides behind us, and we keep thinking, wouldn't it be fun to go down one of them one of these times? <laughs> this year on the Pro-Am Golf Show, we will do three holes of stroke play. The loser slash person with the highest amount of strokes uh -oh. gets to take on the water slide. <laughs> oh, you and me are safe, don't worry. <laughs> It's I'm gonna be mad. I didn't when even bring bets a, on the I way. didn't even bring a change of clothes. Oh, it's better like that. We like to surprise you with stuff. Who said like we're that. going down in clothes? Oh no. <laughs> it's a PG show. <laughs> we'll get to that at the end of the show. For now, we'll start it off with a pro tip. Hopefully that helps us out. Let's head out to number seven here at Trestle Creek and meet up with head golf professional Matt Matheson. The pro tip is brought to you by Energy Crane, specializing in hoisting, rigging, and transportation services. Today we're going to work on a sound par 3 strategy. One of the biggest issues on par 3s for most people when we tee our golf ball up is they tend to swing a little too hard. What we really want to work on today is picking a club that if you hit it solidly it's going to put you on the back edge of the green. More than likely our average strike will be in the middle and even if we don't get all of the golf ball we're going to give ourselves a chance. So I'm going to do my best and uh, try and hit one on the green for you guys right now. Oh, you made that look really easy. Is this your first time? I think it's the purple glove. And, and yes. just like we talked about, right in the middle of the green. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Beat Woo. the pro. Beat the pro. Whoa. Oh, a little oh you're deep. A little too much. Green's still open. Green's please. open. Yeah. It still might be after this. Kick left. Oh, that could oh, work yeah. out nicely. It's a good spot. Uh, good shot, Peter. Right You're distance. Safe. See, if we, don't, if we don't say anything, it really gets in your case. It really was. I was about to say, why aren't you guys saying anything? So, shh, don't say anything. Oh, what a shot. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. On that note, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and play the rest of the first hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. A fitness boutique where you focus on you. Yes, you can. Keep going here. You guys got this. No matter what age or fitness level, we offer modification to suit each client's needs. You can do it. Hang on to it. You're almost through it. Keep breathing. Your time, your space, your studio. Tighten, lengthen, strengthen, unwind. You look beautiful. Hang on. Three, two, and release. Sculpt Fit, Bruce Grove. Experience extraordinary at a resort for the whole family. The Trestle Creek Golf Resort offers 18 holes of championship golf, including a breathtaking island green. At the resort, enjoy some of the incredible amenities like the water park, zip line, lazy river, sports park, rec center, and equine center. Or get active at the new pickleball courts and sports field. Lot sales also available at the Trestle Creek Golf Resort, just 45 minutes west of Edmonton.
Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today at the beautiful Trestle Creek Golf Resort with former Edmonton Oiler goalie coach Pete Peters. Oh, there's so many accolades that we could add to your name. We're going to get into that in a little bit with the interviews that we do, but really we should just introduce him as an NHL legend. Well, you're stretching it there. <laughs> I don't know. You have you're some humble. pretty impressive records. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So we've hit our, our first shot after the pro tip. You guys aren't on the green. I'm on. You're still in shock. Advantage about that shot, goes to me. <laughs> we are playing stroke play today oh. for our 60th episode. Like, why not switch it up and do stroke play yeah, instead perfect. of match play? Let's just switch it up. Now I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have a tough shot. We'll get to Pete's first. This is the rest of the first hole. This is not an easy chip. No. That's Whoa! Hit it. Oh! Come back! You're good, you're on. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> good shot. Seemed like a pretty easy going guy on the golf course. Well, like I said, there's only one guy that's going to win a green jacket, and it's not me, so I don't worry about it too you much. You have the best laugh as well. <laughs> I'm trying to remember some of our old sand tips. I don't think we ever had this shot, though. <laughs> okay. Be the ball. Uncomfortable. Well, now at least you're down there. Don't talk. And hitting six. It's just three. You can make your par. This is going in. Yeah, that's right. Good one. Terrible. But thanks, Pete. I'd I love your it. optimism. I'd take it. I love it. <laughs> so let me get this straight. In 1980, you started the season with 20... Five straight wins? 27, 27 games. 27 games. Without a loss. Without a loss. Yeah. That's an unheard of record. Take us through it a little bit. I didn't know what was going on, you know, like when you get on these rolls and you're just a young kid and you're green from Canada and you're getting to play with, you know, Bobby Clark, Reggie Leach, Bill Barber, Moose, DuPont, Jimmy Watson. You're just like living the dream. And Pat Quinn was our new coach and there wasn't much expectations from the team that year and then we just started on this roll and we set a new all sports record that year. We went 35 games as a team before we lost our first game. So yeah, it's, I still don't understand it. It happened, you know, but uh, yeah. You just start on a roll. Yeah, and you didn't think you could lose. What would you say your best attribute was as a goalie? Well, I was very fortunate uh, there wasn't such a thing as a goalie coach back then, and uh, I was learning my trade from Jacques Plot. Uh, bless his soul, he's passed away, and he gave me a real good platform to stand on. And then I was blessed again. I go to Boston, and Jerry Cheevers is my coach, and then he's helping me out with the head game. And then when I ended up in Washington, I had a great goalie coach there by the name of Warren Stralo, who coached Jimmy Craig when the U.S. won the Olympic gold medal at Lake Placid. So. I've been pretty blessed to have some good coaching. Uh, I'll rephrase that, great coaching. Uh, I don't think I was as gifted as a lot of goalies, but uh, with my work ethic and uh, the sound base, I was able to stay pretty consistent. It was interesting that year as well, because not only did you win the Vesna, but you almost won the heart. Who yeah. did you lose to? <laughs> Mr. Gretzky. No, I've heard that name. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess there's no shame in that. Second in voting to win the heart. Yeah. And plus winner of the Vesna. Yeah, yeah. In was, your third season. Yeah, pretty spoiled guy, eh? <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed spoiled. with your humility, though. Well, right? I mean, to... well, that's how mom and dad brought my sister and I up. Yeah. So, uh, and then my wife, she's kept me in line too. So I'm fortunate <laughs> there. And the uh, funny story is we were watching Pittsburgh win a Stanley Cup one year on the couch. And I turned to her and I said, man, it'd be great to win that thing just once. She never missed a beat. She said, you're great greedy. And I says, what do you mean I'm greedy? And she says, do you remember what you said when we first got married? And I said, yeah, if I could make it in the NHL, it would be the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And she said, how many years did you play? And I didn't say anything after <laughs> that. was the that. end of the conversation. I was, yeah, they win. <laughs> well, a close second is taking a championship on the Pro-Am Golf Show. Really? Yep. Oh, all right, let's get at her. There are very few must-makes 
on the first hole of the Pro-Am Golf Show, but this is one of them. Looks good. Stay on. Strong Looks counts. good. Oh, good up. That's not bad. You know what, Mark? That's double bogey. That one's yours. Oh, thanks, Mick. I know I hope you're four putt. <laughs> now if my hands had just stopped shaking. Happens with old age, you know. Hearing aids, glasses, the shakes. And the nerves, of course. The nerves. You know, on the golf show, yeah. Stay up. Get oh. up. For bird. For bird. And a huge lead. I know. Has a it's chance. Go on. No. Good part. Oh. A little bit too much. Do I have to putt that in? No. Or are we good? No. No. That's oh. good. Good in my books. So I take the lead. Yes, big After time. After the first hole, that doesn't matter the one stroke play because who knows what's going to happen, happen on the <laughs> second and third hole. So we'll get to that in just a bit. First off, we are going to look at one of our newer segments. It's called Making the Cut. It's brought to you by the ATV Classic, August 6th through 12th at the Country Hills Golf Club in Calgary. Once a semi-pro hockey player for the Bay County Blizzard of the CEHL, Ryan Williams has steadily progressed as a professional after turning to golf full-time in his mid-20s. Williams won the 2014 Freedom 55 Financial Championship and has been one of the most consistent Canadian players on tour for the last five years. Watch for Ryan this August at the ATV Classic at Country Hills. Cantorque is the fastest company in the bolting business. We power drivers in karting, Grand Am, NASCAR, and even run at over 385 kilometers per hour at the Indy 500. So you know we're fast. But we're not just fast, we're Canadian, and so are our tools. Made in Edmonton, we've taken everything Canadian. Beauty, durability, friendly and polite, and combined them all with our industry-leading speed. Find out more at Cantorque.com. Join Mark and me next May on the golf trip of a lifetime, conveniently planned just weeks prior to that same course being the host of the 2019 US Open. You'll enjoy a chartered return flight direct from Edmonton to Monterey Airport in California. Three nights accommodation and three rounds of golf at three world-class golf courses. The hard part is done for you. Now all you have to do is commit. Visit proamgolfshow.ca for more details and to book your seat. We're back at the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today on the ninth hole at Trestle Creek Golf Resort with 1983 Vezina Trophy winner Pete Peters. You don't look a day over 50. How did you play in 1983? You're so kind. Oh, really, though? You look great for, oh, for well, how old are you? you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> 60. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Hope I look that good at 60. Oh, you will. I've watched you curl, man. You curl lights out. Thanks. You're my hero. Thanks. Wow. I'm just going to watch the bromance. <laughs> Did you guys want to golf too? It's my new best buddy. <laughs> yeah, apparently. And you're not a bad golfer either, girl. I've oh, seen you, you smoke them. I was waiting for a compliment. <laughs> I, got lucky. I got lucky on that last hole. If it offered the pin, you would have been in the trap with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bounced like 10 feet in front of the pin. Anyway. Anyway. It's stroke play today, time to play the second hole that we are going to play of the show. And uh, this one's a par four. It's a drivable par four. So I guess risk reward comes into play. We'll let you go first, Mark. Okay. No risk reward with this one. No, I gotta play catch up now. Me and Pete both, we gotta play smart. Oh, you nailed oh, that one, buddy. Trouble. I didn't realize neither of you had a driver in your hand. I think we're safe. Yeah? Maybe. We're not wet. Hey, Pete's taking a smart approach, too. Yeah, he's got that. Oh, perfect. Nice and silky smooth. Great, Pete. Oh, Great I'm shot. liking it. Right over the 150. Whoa, oh, you're whoa, perfect. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What do you think, oh. coach? Perfect. All right. Is there alligators in there? <laughs> oh, look at that snapper back there. It's not Happy Gilmore, is it? Just keep talking. Get her focusing on the water. Lots of water there, hey? Ah. Oh, she creams it on the green. Ah. Get up. 
You're the gal. Too far. Have you been lifting weights with Mark? Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I, wonder how, I wonder how cold this water slide's gonna be. <laughs> you are in position A after that drive. Thanks, bud. You're good for my confidence. Now the hard part, though. I know. Oh, is that ever smooth? Go. Pete. Go. Get up. Get up. Oh, no, nice shot. Sure. Yeah, that'll do. Sure. <laughs> do you want any wine to go with that cheese or cheese with that wine? I think that's how they say it, eh? Quit your whining and throw the rock. Yes. Now you sound like my coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, sure. Come on. Go, baby. Go to the left. Get up. Oh, yes, it's good. Look great kick. Back. Look at this. You're the man! Woo! Okay, we're John alive. Dunn's happy now! This is sports psychology right there, That's right? That's sports psychology. He played in the yeah. NHL. He was a goalie coach. He's a cheerleader. He's everything. Oh, yeah, I could cheer good at the end of the bench, too, <laughs> when I was sitting there. <laughs> so, Pete, you were in the 1984 Canada Cup? Yes. Now, I know that you had a sprayed ankle. You played four games. Was one of them the final game? Yeah, that's a, you bring that up, that's an interesting story because Larry Robinson has polo horses and polo riders are the best riders in the world. So anybody that thinks they're a cowboy isn't a cowboy until they ride a polo horse. So I invited Larry to come out to the farm and to this day that you bring it up, it doesn't matter anymore so I can bring it up. I made Larry promise that he wouldn't tell what happened on the farm. I got on a horse I got buck, bucked off, or didn't get bucked off. The horse rolled on me and rolled on my leg, and I hurt my ankle pretty bad. So I went to practice the next day at Rexall Place, and I somehow got my foot in the skate and went out on the ice, and I stood on it for as long as I could, and then I came in and went to see Kenny Lowe. I think he might have been the trainer at the time. I'm not 100% sure. What did you do? I rolled over on it in the crease. <laughs> they put me in the ice tub, started bringing everything down. I started the game. It was against the Swedes in the finals. Larry didn't say a word, and I went as long as I could to stand on it, and then Reggie Lemlin came in and played brilliant for us, and we ended up winning the 84 Canada Cup. So. Larry kept his word. He never said a word. But you are the sweetest man oh, alive. Easy. I swear. <laughs> However, take me to, you've been in more than one line brawl, have you oh, not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see you in a line brawl, but no. if you pull up Pete Peters on YouTube or Google right now, there's some great fights that pull up. Did you have, a, did you have an edge to you back in the day? Well, I think in order to play pro sports, I think you guys know it playing at the high levels well, that you guys well, play, some of us. Yeah. You, you, you ride the edge. And there's, in order to get the best performance out of yourself, you have to ride that edge. And if you're in a physical sport, like, like I was in hockey, sometimes you fall off that line. I was fortunate I played behind some pretty tough teams, so they would back me up pretty good. And maybe that gave me a little bit of false courage. But yeah, I had a few events that, uh, yeah, I'm not proud of, but they happen. They happen, yeah, professional and, sports. And uh, sure. yeah, yeah, you're gonna Whoa. get a licking sometimes. <laughs> well, we're not gonna get that aggressive out here today, but we might have to do pull some tricks out of our hats to beat Meg. Well, I don't know. She's the gal. I can't believe where she hit that drive. I thought she'd give us that pose oh, after she yes. hit it, but she still has some work to do. So no, let's see if she can. You guys right now. Let's I see if she can finish this whole off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Meg. If there was ever a chance to catch Meg. It would be right now. She's a machine, man. He's, he's good. But oh, watch this. Look at this. Oh, what a terrible bounce. He oh, did get man. a bad bounce, but funnel down to the hole. Easy, hey, easy, okay. easy. Exactly where I wanted to. OK. Uphill putt? Yep. You are just playing this hole perfectly. Cinderella story. Finish it off. Could be, good. Could be good. Could be good. Oh, oh, that is a heck of a par. Is that a gimme? Yes. That's a gimme. Good On par. On this show? <laughs> yeah. Is this for another birdie? 
but I didn't get the birdie. Oh, well, another time. birdie putt I meant. Yeah. You're not going to make it, but it's a good par. <laughs> Is this how you guys curl all the time? Yeah, we chirp we, a lot, actually. You bark at the guys in the hack? Yes. Look at this. Oh, no. What Ooh, a great touch. We'll give that to you, though. Yeah. Nice par. Great touch. It sure broke a lot more than I thought it would. I usually don't need sweepers. I'm always heavy. Because you don't leave birdie putt short. That's right. Wait, what sport are we talking about? You call me in. Are you guys done? Yeah, abs any anytime you're ready, Mark. Okay. Just waiting on you. It's an important putt. For birdie. Mm. Oh! Overswept it. Oh! Overswept. Did I hit that ball by chance? I was trying yeah, to sweep I, it. It's re -putt. I think, yeah, I might have, I might have hit that ball. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> definitely not. Okay, with that, you're still down two, you're down one. Mark threw away his ball. Things are looking up here on the Pro-Am Golf Show. We're going to take a break. We'll come back and play the third and final hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. A family-run business looking out for your best interest. That's what the Black Dirt Company has created. A business built on customer care, relationships, respect, and high performance. The Black Dirt Company will assist you and inspire you in the brand new product discovery center. We know landscaping can be a lot of work. Let us carry the load. Visit us in Spruce Grove, south of the tracks. Our dirt is your dirt at blackdirtcompany.com. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaskin, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today with Pete Peters, former goalie coach for the Edmonton Oilers. And you have some amazing accolades, but you also have one that you might want to forget. You were in net when Gretzky scored his 50 goals in 39 games. Is that right? Well, that's one of the great trivia questions of the ages because everybody says it's me and they're wrong. Absolutely wrong. I was sitting on the bench. I was watching it with oh. everybody else, man. <laughs> you got pulled for the fifth yeah, one. Yeah, we got that's pulled, right. pulled, and uh, yeah, I got a good seat from it. I think that's the only time I ever argued with my coach because Wayne was on a totally different plane yeah. that night, and uh, it was inevitable he was going to get it, eh? But uh, yeah, I have great recollections of the game, and you got to be in the record books for something, that's right? right. <laughs> you got to witness I think that's history. Even better. <laughs> At least you had 49, 48, 47, 46. Yeah, well, think of this one. Who was the goalie in net when Mario Lemieux scored his first goal in his first game on his first shift? Pete Peters? I'm the man. Are you? Oh, yeah, goodness. so I'm in the record books there, too. <laughs> that was an educated <laughs> guess. <laughs> okay, we are on the third and final hole right now. Mark is two over. You're one over. I'm even par. And the loser of all of this has to go down the water slide in their golf clothes. So <laughs> let's get to it. The third and final hole brought to you by ProStar Energy, building cutting-edge rig packages. Two strokes to make up so that you don't have to go down a water slide in your golf clothes. That's you're right. Oh, is that nice? Oh, and that wind, I think that's long. No, it's beautiful. What a oh. great shot. See some more of that smooth swing stuff. Yeah. It's good Drawn too. in. Is it too much? Sit. Oh, no. oh, we should be side by each. No, Sit. I'm further. That was a great swing, Pete. Yeah, I'll really take good. It. Yeah. She is steel focused today. <laughs> Although this is the biggest drive of her pro am golf show career. Because she can taste so? victory. Yes, I, I got air in my wow. mouth. There is a ton of water. Left, right, north, south. Well, that was thin to win. Hurry. 
hurry. Hit another pin. It's perfect. Oh, she's Shoot, off stop, the back. Stop, stop. Oh, she's got some work to do, Pete. That's a long putt. Now, over the seasons, you haven't been much of a closer. <laughs> really? All Swedish, no finish. Let's see what she can do today. A double breaker. You hurt me. <laughs> there. That's really good, actually. Oh, sit. Nice ball. A little bit of work to do, though. Yeah. Good putt. Yeah, that's no gimme yet. Thanks, guys. Long putt. Yep. Get there. Still not enough. Get there. Look at it go to the left. We haven't had a long putt yet this season, have we? Have we in any season? <laughs> not as much as we should. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be nice. Look at this. Go, 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 Look go, at go. this. Man, I hit that hard. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. I need to go up there to see how close that is before I declare a gimme. <laughs> Did I hear gimme? No, nope, not yet. I heard the word before. gimme. If you make this, Meg has to make hers. Oh, oh. I hammered it. Good try. You and I could be going for a ride together, buddy. <laughs> Go for a rip. Go for a rip. Oh no! <laughs> Hello, water slide. <laughs> I think we're gonna get wet. Yeah, I might get that Irish disease. <laughs> Are you cool with going down the water slide? Hey, we lost a bet. <laughs> That's a bet. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in too. <laughs> I think we've done the show here four years now and none of us have hit up the water slide yet. You know what? Let's just all do it. How does that sound? Yes. All right. Okay, before we go do that, uh, there's other things to be awarded. We have the shot of the show. It is brought to you by Cantorque, Canadian assembly tools built just like Canada. Beautiful, tough, designed to last. See, if we don't, if we don't say anything, it really gets in your kitchen. It really yeah. was. I was about to say, why aren't you guys saying anything? So shh, don't say anything. Oh, what a shot. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. Heck of a shot, Meg. Thank you. If it doesn't hit the pin, it's probably in the trap, but hey, got to be good to be lucky. Lucky to be good. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, thank you so much for coming out today. You're a player. Well, I don't know. You're the player, and uh, we're going to be suffering for it. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we'll all have fun with it. It's, it's a good story. Well, we want to thank you for coming out today. On behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Gym Sunglasses, there oh, is a you. free pair of shades for you in there. Just go in to see Dr. Scott. He'll get you suited up with those oh, shades, and you you'll be good much. to go. Thank you. Pleasure. And on behalf of Dog Island Brewing, thank you so much. We want to give you some beer as well to enjoy. Thank you very much. What's Thanks golf without beer? Absolutely. I'm glad I woke up. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Day. It's a great, great day. Yeah, yeah, you're a real pleasure to have. So thank you. Thanks for having me, Mark. Thanks, Megan. Absolutely. And thanks to Trestle Creek. What a beautiful golf resort. And more than a resort, we're going to test out more of it right away here. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Keep in mind, you can catch us every Sunday right here on Global TV at 1230. If you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at proamgolfshow. Let's go, boys. <laughs> you lose a bet. I Good luck. It. I okay, love buddy. It. Here we go. We're hung up. Yeah. Woohoo! Feet feeders. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta get him a spin. <laughs> One, two, three! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>